So our maps do a really good job of a couple things. One would be show you the land cover of a property with the high resolution aerial imagery that we use and also the terrain on that property with a combination of our Terra image which is uh, the 3D shadowing that we do to show you the natural rises and falls and terrain features of a property combined with the topo lines um, that we add on top of that that just enhances uh, your ability to, to visualize the terrain that much more. So really our maps are the ultimate package because they're a combination of aerial imagery uh, and, the, and a, a 3D model and then the traditional topo maps. Um, now as far as how to read these lines, here's how you do it. <clears throat> Each line is really a consistent elevation. So if you'd walk along this line, you'd be at a consistent elevation. The same with this line, you'd be at a consistent elevation along this line, and the same with this. Now, in between each thin line, this map is at five foot intervals. We can do other intervals, but for this one, the best way to visualize it is to have a five foot interval change in between each of these thin lines and if you add those up or look at the thick lines you would see a 20 foot elevation change in between each thick line so um, just because of the way uh, our maps look you can tell naturally that this is a higher area right here and it drops down into this creek bottom down here so lowest part of the farm highest part of the farm in, in this this certain area so from here this top line you would have 20 40, 60 foot elevation change from this top down into this bottom here. Uh, one of the things that you can get out of that is to see how much distance is in between those elevation changes. So um, as you can see here, uh, from, from, from this line, this 20 foot uh, line down to this one, you've got a a pretty wide area compared to this right here. So the distance in between these two 20 foot elevation changes is a lot shorter than this one, which means this is a drastic elevation change. This is a drastic terrain feature, a steep drop off. You're having fast elevation change throughout a short distance compared to this. That's really important because now once you understand how that works, you can really visualize uh, terrain features that can be interesting to you as, as a hunter. So the first thing that points out to me right away is anytime you see these little beaks or peaks that are cutting up or, or down a hillside depending on how you're looking at it, this is a draw. So when it rains and water runs off the fields or the, the higher points, which are, are typically in the Midwest, are typically fields, uh, they're gonna, uh, that water's got to find its way downhill somewhere and it's going to start to carve out what is known as a draw. So this ravine right here, um, this water will, will erode its way downhill whenever it rains and runs off of, of the field and what you have here is called a draw. So here's one, here would be another one, comes up and it, it splits right here, makes kind of two mini draws to a main main line. Same with this one right here and it kind of splits as well. And this water is all working its way down to the stream down here. This gets really, really deep down here. Um, these, these ditches or draws can get really, uh, uh, really steep and, and, and deep uh, pretty quickly. And it's not that easy for anybody or anything to just cross them at, at any one point. So one thing that you can find out of these draws is you look at the you can look at the head of it where it meets the field and you're probably going to find a deer trail that's going around it so they don't have to cross where it's steep or jump over it now they'll get if, if they're in trouble they're going to get from a to b as quick as they can and they're going to jump right over it but just naturally unless there's a good good crossing point um any any deer that are going up towards fields and there's a draw around, they're probably going to work their way around it to get from one spur to the next. So in between the draw, this is this would be considered a spur. This would also be considered a spur. I mean, some people would probably look at this as as almost a ridge line because um, it's dropping down on either side. So you know whatever you really want to call that, but basically it's being flanked by a couple draws. Um, take a look right here. 
where this stream bank comes right up against this. This is basically a, this is a cliff right here. I, I wouldn't even be able to walk up this because we've got such a drastic change in elevation. It's such a close distance from, from one point to the next. It's basically just a big steep shelf. I mean, this is a dangerous uh, part of the farm here uh, if you're walking around aimlessly. So, um, but then again, if you're looking for a good tree stand set up, uh, this would probably be an interesting spot and we can get to that later. So really the goal is to be able to help you understand not only the cover, you know, where your timber is versus your CRP or your fields or your streams. I mean, that's all really important. But whenever you can see the terrain on these maps as well, that just adds another dimension to your ability to understand uh, how to hunt an area.